between Trevor Zegris breaking the penalty box camera to the Ducks taking 10 penalties, this was just an embarrassing and inexcusable performance from the Ducks versus the Kraken. There is so much that happened in this game, so let's start from the beginning because it actually started well for the Ducks. After getting shut out and only having 12 shots the game before against the same team in the Kraken, the Ducks put up 10 shots in the first. Zegers was flying, McTavish looked energized after being demoted to the fourth line, and all Strom had to do was hit an open net and they would have had the lead. In the second, any good mojo would be derailed by penalties, like it has all season. The Kraken would get three power plays and cash in on one thanks to a scramble in front and it goes in off Schwartz. In the third is where things would start to get crazy, as the Ducks would score two shorthanded goals on the same penalty kill 44 seconds apart. The first from Lunderstrom on a nice tic-tac-toe play for the Ducks' first goal in 120 minutes of play. Woo! And the second from Ooh Ah uh, Silverberg, who turns back the clock a bit with his speed and gets his own rebound. Ducks up 2-1. to one. Things would start to get heated as Zegers would get called for holding on Tanev. And I don't know about you, but it looks like Tanev is the one holding Z's arm and bending and twisting it. So in my eyes, and rightfully so, Zegers gives Tanev a cross check for almost breaking his arm. Then this is where Zegers would break the penalty box camera. Look, I'm not defending Z here. He shouldn't have done this. But there have been lots of players who have done this in the past. All of them older and had been in the league a lot longer than Z has when they did it. Brayden Shen, Jamie Benn, and Alex Petrangelo, to name a few in recent years. And looking up their incidents, none of them were fine for their actions. So if Zegers is, that's a double standard. The Kraken would score on the power play, and Zegers wouldn't see the ice the rest of the game. If Zegers was benched for breaking the camera, I don't really have a problem with it. If he was benched because of the penalty, then I do. Because you know how many other people have been benched on the Ducks for taking idiotic penalties this season? None. People have been demoted like McTavish was in this game, but Zegris is the only one that has been given this type of treatment. The whole accountability thing Cronin keeps talking about is just talk at this point. And honestly, he needs a whole video dedicated to just him. If you want to see it, like and subscribe. Another side of Zegris breaking the camera is that he is showing he cares and wants to win. Haven't seen the Ducks show that much passion in doing something basically all season. Heck, even Logason, who just got here, has only played four games and has showed more passion in standing up for Terry after a no-call to his back than lots of the other players on this team. Good on Logason. He destroyed Tanev so much that Tanev must have been confused and thought he won the way he was talking. Lag's win didn't give the Ducks any juice as they continued to take penalties. The Kraken scored their third goal a few seconds after a penalty kill and got their fourth on another power play. Ducks lose 4-2 to because... Of course they did. The only thing more frustrating than the game itself was the ticking on Bally's broadcast. I don't know if this is recency bias, but this might have been the most mad I have been after a game. I don't really have anything else to say. I just can't wait for the season to be over. Even though, somehow I'll miss this team in the summer. Just tired of the insanity going on, doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. The Ducks insanity train continues against the Oilers Saturday at 1 p.m. So yay, it only gets better. Thank you for watching and go Ducks!